This game is Minarets. It's a three to four player game. It takes about 15 minutes. In a bid to garner public support for her rule, the Sultana has commissioned the construction of many public buildings. In Minarets, players have to work together to complete these projects, but in the end, only one player will prove to be the best and win the game. Uh, you are trying to construct the best possible buildings with your two partners. So uh, you set up by giving each player an equal number of dice in a three-player game. Each player would have six dice. Um, set one of your dice to a minaret, which is this face, and then roll the rest. All right. Now make sure that you leave space between the players because this is where the buildings will be built. There will be one building here, one building here, and one building here. The player who most recently built something goes first. On your turn, take a die from another player's die pool. If there's no place to legally place a die in one of the buildings on your left or your right, let's say on this player right here, then you would take a die and you re-roll it until it can be placed. Um, if there are no dice left in the other player's pools, then you take the dice from your own pool. Um, you add a die that you chose from one of the other player's pools like this. So you would take the die, you're looking at the top face of the die, and what you're going to do is you're going to turn it because this is now the side of the building that we're looking at. All right, so let's move that one a little bit closer. So this is the side of the building that we're trying to build on this building right here. This player has taken their turn. Now this player takes a turn and they choose one of the dice from here or here. Let's say they choose this and they're using this face, which we can't see because they're gonna turn it away from us, but they're gonna place it to their right or their left. So they could place it here or they could place it over here. Let's say they place it over there because then we can at least take a look at it. Uh, and then this player's turn is next. They take a die from here or here. Uh, let's say they take this one and they place it right here. They're gonna place it on their right or their left. That's their choice. Um, you continue going around the table. Let's see, so uh, the die faces can't be changed, but you can change the orientation. So you could place this like this, or you could place this like this, if you were going to attach this to this building. Um, now this player wouldn't be able to take one of their dice, but let's say this player would take this one and attach it to the building. They could place it like that, they could place it like this if they wanted. Um, they can rotate this as they want, but they have to use this die face, because that was the one that was upright. They have to be placed directly on the table or stacked on top of each other. Um, each die that's next to another die becomes part of the same building. Uh, they cannot be placed so an open edge is adjacent to the closed edge of another building. So let's say um, we had, you could place something like this on the bottom if you wanted. Uh, and then you could not place this because this is already a closed edge of the building, so you can't place uh, a die so that it goes into the closed edge of a of part of the same building, or another building for that matter. All right, the game ends when all of the dice have been taken from the player's dice pools and added to the buildings, and then we score. So now we're going to score these three buildings. For the foundations, that's each die with an open edge touching the table. Each one of those is worth one point. So here we've got one, two points for blue. We actually have one, two, three, four, five points for yellow. And then we have one, two, three points for black. That's for the foundations. And for the minarets, each one of those is worth one point for each die below it. So in this case, this is worth one point for blue. This minaret right here is worth nothing because there are no dice below it. This one is worth two points for black. Then for unfinished construction, each open edge not connected to another die or the table is a penalty of one point. So here for blue, we've got one, two, three, four, five open edges. 
So it goes actually from 3 down to negative 2 here. Um, for yellow, we actually have no open edges. And for black, we also have no open edges. Then we go for the highest building, which gets a bonus of 5 points. And that is blue. Um, tied buildings all get that bonus. So if someone else had gotten up to, to if another building had gotten up to four dice, then that, they would have both gotten the, the five points. But so blue comes right back up to those three points. Then the widest building gets a bonus of two points. And here we've got yellow gets a bonus of one, two points. And that is the end of the game. Your score is the lower of the two buildings you helped to build. Uh, if that's a tie, then you look at the the, um, the higher of the two buildings. If there's still a tie, then the tied players share the win. So in this case, whichever was the player who was building the uh, black and the yellow buildings would be the winner, because their lower score is the black building. Um, whoever was building the yellow and the blue, their lowest score was blue. And whoever was building the black and the blue, their lower score was also blue. And that is Minarets.